we start with a period for public comment, but we see there is no there are no members of the public present to for public comment. So noting that, we'll move on. The only item on the agenda was <clears throat> the application for a special permit for an 85 square foot awning sign on a 308 square foot facade at 211 Main Street, map ID 31D-136-002. Uh, the special permit was required because signs exceeding 10% of the facade requires a ZBA special permit. Notice of that hearing, which uh, uh, was published on, uh, sorry, uh, nine, uh, September 14th and September 21, the original hearing opened on September 28th. And at the end of that hearing, there was a request for a continuance until this date and time. So this is the uh, continuation of that hearing for that special permit. Uh, we understand that since uh, September 28th, the applicant has submitted a request to withdraw the application without prejudice. Um, we understand okay. that the reason for that is they've modified the designs of the awning in such a way that the sign will no longer exceed 10% of the facade, and um, which is not something we have to address either way. The only thing we have to do is, uh, I guess, entertain a motion to grant the applicant's request to withdraw the application without prejudice. Without prejudice means that uh, they could resubmit it. Um, if, we with, if we were to grant a request to withdraw with prejudice, it would mean that they are prohibited from proceeding in the future with that same application. I personally see no reason to require the withdrawal to be with prejudice. Um, and so I personally don't have a problem with granting the request to withdraw the application without prejudice. Um, so that's my, my position. Uh, I'm not speaking for the board there. Go ahead, Nathan. Did you have something? Yeah, maybe I um, an issue a quick hearing. But just for the record, would you identify what public body this is and also introduce your other board yes. members? Sorry about that. This is the meeting of the Northampton Zoning Board of Appeals. My other fellow board members present are Maureen Scan Scanlon and Sherry Taylor, along with myself, David Bloomberg, and Nathan Chung is here. Uh, from the City of Northampton Office of Planning and Sustainability, providing staff support to the Zoning Board of Appeals. Okay, is that good? Um, so having said all of that, um, I don't know if there are any other comments. If, if not, we could just entertain a motion to grant the applicant's request to withdraw the application without prejudice, unless, uh, unless anyone has other comments first. I'll make that motion. Okay, and a second. Second it. Okay, any any discussion before we vote? No discussion? Nope. Uh, so Nathan, a uh, roll call vote, please. Yeah, yeah just, but just for the record, there were nobody else in the hearing uh, wanting to make a public comment and nobody has made a written comment prior to the hearing. Thank okay, you. Okay, so by, by roll call, um, David? Yes, I, I approve, I'm in favor. Maureen? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Okay, that's unanimous. So the request to withdraw the special permit application is granted without prejudice. And then I think we did we have two sets of minutes to vote on, Nathan? Yes. Um, have people had a chance to look at those? <laughs> yes, I have. Any comments? Um, I, I have a comment on the 914. Mm -hmm. uh, I did not attend the 928 meeting, but I didn't see anything that I would have comments on. How do we do we do this one at a time? Sure. Okay. The 914. Uh, and Nathan, I appreciate your attention to detail on this. This is our, you know, historical record. On the second page, the top of page two, the paragraph that begins with John M. McLaughlin the attorney for the applicant presented. I would like to make it clear that the rest of the paragraph through the next to the last sentence are actually what attorney McLaughlin presented, like either put it in quote marks or say presented as follows. 
I don't, it reads to me the at the moment as if all of that information might be factual and it could be factual, but in fact, it's what uh, attorney McLaughlin was stating. Understood. So rather it's what he presented rather than it being factual. Yes, to say the attorney for the applicant, I'm just trying to think of the easiest wording for this. The attorney for the application applicant presented, maybe presented as follows and put a quote uh colon there. How about I don't know the best the way applicant, to he state how about just saying he stated and that's it? Sure. So that the attorney and for then, the applicant stated uh, like stated the following, maybe the following colon. Yeah. But and no then, quotes, no quotes because it's not verbatim. Right. But yeah, yeah. But and quote. then that voice changes tense at the uh, sentence that says McLaughlin offered to read the list of 21 neighbors who support the application. Maybe the easiest thing is just make that be a second paragraph. Understood. That did it. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Thank you. That's the only thing that jumped out to me. I'm just scrolling through quickly. I added the colon uh, after presenting the following and also I indented the whole presentation section so that to indicate it's a subservient. Um, okay. yeah. Sherry, did you have a chance to read? Or were you there, Sherry? Oh, you weren't there, Sherry. I wasn't there. Okay. I just want to read the actual motion. Okay, yeah, I think I'm fine with that one modification. Um, and and actually, why don't we vote on them together? So let's take a look at the 928 minutes. Oh, this is the one that just got withdrawn. One of them, yeah. The, I did. The, I uh, did look at the at them, and it seems. Uh, I mean, I'm on the phone, so I can't actually look at it as we uh, speak. But um, I did look at it when it first came through, and it seemed appropriate to me. And I did not attend the that hearing, so I mean, I can still vote on the minutes, right? I, or sure. oh yeah, oh yeah, sure. The significance of the minutes. Uh, is 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 much greater when there's a chance of an appeal as a practical matter. But either way, we want our minutes to be accurate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's something to be said for having less detailed minutes. <laughs> um, but um, but I do think the whole the whole thing's recorded anyway. Right. Although I have been advised that the recording, the minutes are the legal document. The recording is not. That is correct. Right. Um, in fact, the recordings are not even hosted by the city. It's hosted by uh, Northampton Open Media. So yes, good point, uh, Maureen. That's why I sometimes, well, I, I, it, it makes a difference to me if I know that the 20 day appeal period has already expired before we vote to approve the minutes. Either way, we want them to be accurate and correct. Okay, yeah, I think I'm fine with these. So I think we could have a motion to approve both sets of minutes with the, the change or correction being made you know, subject to the condition that the change that Maureen described is made to the minutes for 914. Does that work for everybody? Sure. Mm -hmm. For me. 
I mean, I can, I'll move to approve the minutes with the amendment as uh, agreed on for 914 and no changes to the minutes on 928. All right. And it has not been 20 days right now, but that's all right. Okay, a second, please. A second. Okay, and a okay. Roll, call, roll call. By roll call, David. Uh, yes. Maureen? Approved. Uh, Sharon? Uh, Sharon? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, that's unanimous. And if there's no other business, I guess we could just have a motion to adjourn. And next meet before we do though, next meeting, I understand is uh, there's nothing in two weeks, but there is something coming up. Uh, Possibly on November 9th, but uh, they, I'm talking with them about the, it's another oversight awning permit application, special permit mm -hmm. application. So I'm talking with them about the possibility of withdrawing well before the um, newspaper ads need to go out. So it mm -hmm. might be withdrawn, uh, but okay. they're still thinking about it. Okay. And, uh, oh, uh, and the, uh, I'm available the 9th. Are other people available the 9th if it does go forward? I, I believe I am available the 9th. Okay. I am available then. I'm... Okay. Sorry, Nathan, you were saying something else. And that's, yeah. Um, do you, for going forward, do you want me to send you a, uh, like a, a notice, a reminder about the coming hearing 24 or 48 hours before the hearing date? Some people appreciate it. Some I would appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. I think it's always helpful. Yeah. I will just do that automatically then. Well, 48 hours or 24 hours. Or Maybe both. 48. 20, 24. Well, it also <laughs> depends when when we're going to have the material to review, right? Yeah. Like, but Sherry, did you say you the, the reminder is the reminder is in my mind. The reminder is just so I I get so busy. I just literally walked in the door at five thirty. I've been left for Boston at six this morning. So you know, for me, it's just simply, oh my God, I have to get on the phone. Um, so I've already reviewed the material when he sent it a week or so ago, but this reminder is just don't screw up. I put an alarm on. I made sure that I got on the phone. So you prefer 24 hour prior notice, which is fine. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Maureen, are you okay with that? 24 sure. hour prior notice. Okay. So Nathan, 24 hour prior notice. Okay. Great. Great. Good. Well, that's just a reminder. I mean, we'll get the materials before that. So. Correct. Yeah. Right. There you yeah. Go. Okay. Great. Uh, yeah. And so I guess now we could do a motion to adjourn. Sure. I'll move to adjourn. Okay. Second. Sherry, second. Oh, I thought David second. Uh, I second. Yes. Uh, by uh, roll call, please. By roll call, um, David. Yes. Maureen. Yes. Sherry. Yes. Okay, thank you. That's unanimous.